So you say that the consequence of having less alkaloid in your lungs is that your breathing rate, your will severity decrease in that in the diaphragm. When I'm gonna take off. Sure. Yes. So the further question I asked you is what you would you have to breathe in more or less? So the marking assessment process at Ealing, I would differentiate it into uh, exam assessment and also book and task assessment. So for the exam assessment, what we do is once we mark the papers at the on the cover, we've got every single question and the amount of marks that the students achieve for that specific questions. So what we do is once we are doing uh, going to the paper in class, we're going to go through each one of the questions and then the students will know exactly which things missed. And then we've got the part where it's a uh, book assessment or task assessment or even homework assessment. And at an independent college, every single teacher has his own, his own set of stamps. And how it works is there's three arrows, one facing upwards, which is for the students to recognize which are the main key points of the task. Then the one looking uh, backwards, which is for the teacher to ask specific questions about the task. So once the task has been marked with a red pen, the teacher will be uh, writing about which is the, the areas that the student needs to improve, but instead of just writing something like you need to improve on this topic, it would be something more specific. And then there's the third arrow, which is going to be facing uh, forward, and that's going to be by the student to be replying the questions, and it's going to be in green. So the whole school is using green pen for student feedback. So that's a way of uh, anyone recognizing in the book a conversation between the teacher and the student. So what will happen is the student is replying to those questions and once they've done that we, with the teachers we're going to mark it and then we can uh, we have another stamp which says even better if and that's going to be for us to ask another question a little more a little more in detail about what they have replied already and they will reply again green so that shows a conversation in uh, green pen by them and red pen by the teacher so you can see how the students are making progress over time. There are three types of assessments that we do in the college. There is peer assessment, self-assessment and teacher assessment. Peer assessment and self-assessment are typically written by us in green pen so the teacher can understand our feedback and what we think about those answers and the teacher would write in red pen and typically it would be the feedback that the teacher would give about our answers or maybe even a follow-up question that relates to that topic in order to further understanding. So you have to breathe in more, this is because there is less gas exchange happening. Very good. So the way this way of marking makes it improve is because if you target exactly what you want the students to know and you guide them towards learning and not just tell them you got uh, 30 out of 50, that's what you got. Instead of that, you you guide them towards getting them to know exactly what you want them to achieve. I think it helps incredibly well. It helps me a lot because it helps me get a better understanding and more in-depth into the topic and the subject at hand and it makes me understand a lot more.